Hello, my name is Ram and welcome to another video of Matoklasan. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Microsoft Excel whenever you want to have or compute for the measures of variation like range, variance, and standard deviation. The data that we have here shows the kilocalorie per serving or portion that we could get from each of these cereal products. And we will try to compute for the range population variance standard deviation, sample variance, and sample standard deviation of each of these columns in our data set. We all know that the formula for the range is just the highest value minus the lowest value. So for us to compute for the range of the first column, we just need to type equal sign, max for us to get the maximum value in this column, select the range, close parenthesis, minus minimum value function because we're trying to get the lowest possible value in this data set. So pressing enter will give us the range of 52. So the highest minus the lowest is 52. Now, if we will consider this column as our population, the formula function for the population variance is just equal var for the variance dot p. Open parenthesis and you need to select the column of our data set. Enter and you will have this population variance of 140.93. So if you want to adjust the decimal places or yes if you want to round it off to two decimal places you can use this function in the home ribbon for the standard deviation of the population we need to use s t d e v for the standard deviation this is the abbreviation of the standard deviation in excel s t d e v so since we are considering our data set as uh, population, we need to use that P. Open parenthesis, select the column of data set, press enter on your keyboard, and you'll have this population standard deviation in two decimal places. Now, how about if we will consider this column as our sample? So this time, instead of using the formula var p, we're going to use the formula var, oops, not that, var that s, which stands for the variance of the given sample. So open parenthesis, select this range of data, press enter on your keyboard, and you have 151 as your sample variance for this column. For the sample standard deviation, you can use the formula equal. This time, it's STDEV dot S, which stands for the sample. So selecting again this range of data, we have now our standard deviation as 12.29. Rounded off to do decimal places. And the measures of variation in our first column is now complete. And if we want to copy the formula for each of these cells, all we need to do is to highlight these cells and then drag using the lower right bottom of the highlighted cells. Dragging it to the right will give us these values for each of the column. Even though we have empty cells here, the sample standard deviation or the population variance will not be affected. So you just need to rearrange this. Two decimal places. Center your values. And that's it. We now have the population or the measures of variation for each of these columns. If you want an alternative way to find the measures of variation, we can use the data analysis add-in in the data ribbon. So if you happen to watch my previous video on how to add this function on your data ribbon, 
um, we can use this to find the measures of variation for our data set. So all we need to do is to select this function, data analysis function, and go to descriptive statistics. Selecting descriptive statistics will give us uh, different options of measures for central tendency and variation. So for the input range, all we need to do is to select our data set. I will select all the columns. Now since I included the labels here, we will select labels in first row. Then we need to select summary statistics here. So pressing OK will give us this table of values. Uh, you can see we have here the central tendency and we have here the measures of variation. For the range, we have 52, and for the col first column that is correct, we have here the standard deviation and sample variance. You need to note that uh, these values are intended for samples only. So we don't have uh, standard deviation and sample variance for the population because it is always assumed that if you're gathering data for your survey or your, for your a thesis or study it is assumed that you always use sample that is why we have a default sample standard deviation and variance here and using the data analysis in the add-in function will give us the summary statistics or descriptive statistics for each column so all you need to do is to check whether your values in the previous given are the same here and that's all for this video. If you want more video tutorial in Microsoft Excel so that you could use it in your statistics class, you can always check my playlist in the description below. If you want to request formulas and functions to be discussed here in our series, you can always comment down below. Of course, don't forget to subscribe for your updates. See you in the next video.